Hi everyone, in today's quick tips video I will show you one of the new features in Adobe XD where you can record voice commands and create an app where it goes a voice commands. Okay, so um, we've already got a layout here and I am in the prototype menu. So in the prototype menu what we can do is we can go ahead and activate triggers where we can set a command and then we can also type a response. So the app will give you a verbal response, for example, or it can trigger to take you to a different screen. So let me illustrate this for you. Uh, so in this fictional scenario, we will be looking for beach spots. So these are some of the beach spots in New Zealand. And then once you decide which beach spot you want to, want to go to, you will be taken through to a screen where you have some instructors nearby. This instructor looks, I have a feeling it's the same person. But anyway, uh, and then finally you can land on their profile and book them as your surfing instructor. I'm not sure if I trust any of these as um, real professional instructors. But anyway, okay, so let me demo this for you. So again, I'm in the prototype menu. Uh, what I'll do firstly is um, I will click on this particular um, screen. So this is the first home screen. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and click on this wire and wire this to the next screen. So what I'll do is um, in this trigger menu, so by default there's your tap and drag, but the new feature that we've introduced is voice. So let me um, Put in voice so the the command that i will type out um so this is the command from the user so i will say show me beach spots okay and then what i'll do is i'll make this like a two-step thing okay so what i'll do is i will have the action where it will do a speech playback so the speech playback what's great is you can choose different voices in here but I'll um, let you explore this in your own time I'll just choose the generic female voice so there's a Joanna and then what I'll get Joanna um, to say is which spots would you like to explore Okay, so then um, what I'm doing is I'll prompt the user when they say show me beach spots, then Joanna will respond and say which uh, spots would you like to explore. Okay, and then what I'll do next is um, another voice command I will add is I will just wire that there. I will do a again, so by default it will be under tap, but I'll choose voice and then I will say... Um, the command for the user is show me, okay? And what I'll do is as a destination, um, when the user says show me, they will um, be taken through to the next screen, which is the spots nearby. So which is the screen, the spots nearby. Then I'll add just a back button. So this back button, i wire this to the home page. And in this one, it just says uh, voice command. I've already done this, which says go back and it'll take you back to the front screen. Okay, so when we're in this screen, what we can do is if the person says piha, it will take you through to the third screen. So let me go and wire this to the third screen. I will simply um, go and change the trigger. Okay, so there's a tap by default. I will choose a voice trigger. And this time uh, it will go to the destination will be the spot details and what I'll do here the command so the user has to say um, show me piha okay and then it'll take you through to this screen and then now what we can do so what I've done is I've already done the back buttons to say go back and takes you through to the back screen and then what I'll do is I will go and wire the commands for each of these instructors so uh, Sheila Ros will go to this profile and voice here so you have to say um, show me Sheila Roz and I'll take it to Sheila I can do the same for Roz Dolph Doe I'm very creative aren't I? <laughs> uh, show me Roz Dolph Doe and then we can do a final one uh, let's do Roustache Row, and I can do show me 
Yoosh Sash Bro. That might be a bit difficult for a voice command, but anyway. Okay, so now what we've done. Oh, did it say not found? But anyway, okay, so we've gone ahead and prototyped this. Let's go ahead and see how this works in action. So top right, press play. Let me go and maximize this here. So in order to preview in XD, you just have to press down the space bar every time you make a voice command. So let's watch this in action. Show me beach spots. Which spots would you like to explore? Show me. Okay, so pretty cool. What I've done so far is um, now it's just navigated through to the next screen, like how we've set it up. So I'll do a next voice command. Show me Piha. Cool, so it's taken me through to Piha in here. I'll go ahead and scroll down and have a look at the instructors in here. So what I can do now is show me Sheila Roz. Let's try that again. Maybe let's try another one. Oh, there we go. It just took some time. Okay, so now we're on Sheila Roz's profile. And as you remember, I said I've set up the back buttons already. So go back. There we go, it's taken us right back. And let's have a look at another profile. Show me Rosdolph Doe. Okay, there we go. So we've um, blended another profile. Go back. Cool, and back to Piha again. And then let's look at our final one that we set up. Not sure whether this one worked, but let's just have a go. Show me Roustache Row. Cool, and there we go. So let's go back now. Go back. And we can go back right to the beginning because I've already set up the back buttons with the voice com command. Go back. And let's go back one more to the home page. Go back. And we're back to the front page. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this quick tip for today. Uh, XD is actually free. Uh, you can go ahead and download this and you are limited to just one project, but that's fine. You can go ahead and explore this. So Adobe XD. Have fun guys and have a good day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.